For today's video, we will answer the question of one of our followers and his question goes like this. Can you show me two or more in finding the limit of x minus 4 over square root of x minus 2 as x approaches to 4? Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together in two or more possible ways. And since our followers need two or more ways to evaluate this limit, so let's have some possible ways or some possible methods to evaluate this. So the first one is table of values. We can use table of values. The second method, we can use rationalization or we can use factoring. And the third one is we can use the L'Hopital's rule. Now, let's have the first method, which is using the table of values. Now, in using table of values, of course, we need to have a table of values. Now, in the first column, we have x. And on the other side, we have the function that we want to evaluate, which is x minus 4 over square root of x minus 2. Now, on the middle of this table, we will put 4 because x must be approaching to 4. And take note, if we plug in x equals to 4, we get 0 over 0 and we don't want to have that one. So if we plug in 4 to our function, we get 0 over 0 or indeterminate. So we don't get any value if we plug in 4 in this function. So, to get the limit of this function, what we're going to do is to know what will happen to this function coming from the left side of this function going to 4. So, to do that, let's call this number be equal to 3.9 going to 4. So, this number must be 3.99 and 3.999. Cannot be equal to 4 because we know if we get 4, we have 0 over 0. So, we want to know what will happen to this function if we go from the left side of 4, going to 4, rather. And also, what will happen to this function coming from the right of 4? So we have 4.01 going to 4, so we have 4.001. Let's go into 4, so 4.001. But again, this cannot be equal to 4 because we know if we plug in 4, we get 0 over 0. So now, let's get our calculators. Here we go. So let's have x, let's have a fraction. This x, let's have 3.99. Then minus 4. On the denominator, we have square root of 3.99 and then minus 2. Equal sign. So 20 plus square root of 390 over 10, we want decimal. So we have 3.9974984. 36. So we can say this number right over here must be equal to 3.997. Now we will do the same thing to 3.999 and 3.9999. So let's replace this 3.999 to 3.9999. And on the numerator, we have 3.9999 minus 4 over square root 3.999 minus 2. Equal sign. We have 3.9997 for 9984. So the second value must be equal to 3.9999. And if we do the same thing, we get this value 3.99999. So coming from the left side, this goes to a number which is close to 4. Now, how about coming from the right side? So let's get again our calculator. And then let's have 4.01. So let's replace this 3.99 with 4.01. 4.01 on the top. We have 4.01 also. So let's have this. 4.01 equal sign. And we get decimal. So 4.00249843.9. So this table right over here, we can put 
Now, how about 4.001? Let's get again our calculator and let's replace this with 0. Let's insert 0 and on the top, let's insert also 0 equal sign. We have 4.00249984. So, this table right over here is 4.00. And on this table, we have 4.0000. So, coming from the right, it goes to a number that is also close to 4. So, we can say that the limit of x minus 4 over square root of x minus 2 as x approaches to 4, we get equal to 4. So, because both from the left side coming from the right side, it goes to a number that is close to 4 or simply the limit of this function must be equal to 4. So using table of values, we can say that the limit of x minus 4 over square root of x minus 2 as x approaches to 4 must be equal to 4. All right. Now, how about using rationalization? So let's get our limit. And of course, the title is rationalization. So let's rationalize the denominator. So let's multiply this. To its conjugate so square root of x plus 2 now let's multiply this by the way square root of 2 plus 2 over square root of x plus 2 this is just equal to 1 all right so if we multiply this we get x minus 4 multiplied by square root of x plus 2 all over square root of x minus 2 multiplied by square root of x plus 2 now let's focus on this product and let's use this identity. If we have a minus b multiplied by a plus b, this is just a squared minus b squared. And on the numerator, don't distribute this or don't multiply this. Because maybe we can cancel some terms after we simplify the denominator. All right. Now, if we simplify the denominator, we have square root of x raised to the power of 2 minus 2 squared. And square root of x raised to the power of 2, this is just x. And 2 squared, this is just equal to 4. And look at this. We can cancel out x minus 4 on the numerator and x minus 4 on the denominator. So this is equivalent to the limit of square root of x plus 2 as x approaches to 4. Now, we cannot plug in 4 into x because there's no denominator at all. This is not 0 over 0. So if we do that, we get square root of 4 plus 2. We replace this x with 4. Now, square root of 4 is 2. And 2 plus 2 is just 4. So, using different method rationalization, we get the same answer, which is equal to 4. Alright, now, how about the third method? We can use the L'Hopital's rule. So, let's have this. Now, L'Hopital's rule says, if we have a limit of f of x over g of x as x approaches to a and it must be equal to 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, then using L'Hopital's rule, we can say that it must be also equal to the limit of the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator as x approaches to a. So, we know this is 0 over 0. If you plug in x equals 4, so why not? Let's use L'Hopital's rule. Let's get the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. Now, the derivative of x minus 4, the derivative of constant is always 0. So the derivative of x must be equal to 1. Now, on the denominator, the derivative of constant is also 0. So the derivative of square root of x, this is just 1 over 2 times square root of x. Now, we cannot plug in x equals to 4 because this is not anymore 0 over 0. So if we do that, we get 1 over 1 over 2 times square root of 4. So this x becomes 4 now. And square root of 4, this is just 2. 2 times 2, this will give us 4. So this becomes 1 over 1 over 4. Now take the reciprocal and we get that the limit of 1 over 1 over 2 times square root of x as x approaches to 4 must be equal to 4. Therefore, the limit of x minus 4 over square root of x minus 2 as x approaches to 4, we get a value of 4.
So using one, two, three methods. And as always, we are done.